Hey friends, it's Kip Icon, and welcome back to Kip Plays Butterfly Soup. In the last episode, we discovered the significance of the title. The caterpillar turns into a soup, kind of, inside of its chrysalis, uh, or inside of its cocoon, before it transforms into a butterfly. And this game is very much about that time in, in, in your life whenever you are young and you're finding out just who you are and who you want to become. So I thought that was, you know, listen, this game is a lot more special than I initially thought it was going to be. How about that? I'll admit that right off the bat. <clears throat> Min, help me. Crying. What's wrong? Who hurt you? I'll kill them. I'll smash their heads in. I don't know how to talk to the baseball team. They're being weird. Weird? Yeah, let's check the chat. Sakura pets you. Yeah. Purrs and rolls over. I think this is... Albert Einstein is... Uh, uh, that's Akarsha, right? WTF! Ohio Gazai morning. <laughs> Join our RP group. Rubs against men. Kicks you over a fence. Be a furry freak host somewhere else. Sad, yeah. <laughs> Krissa has entered the chat room. Hey, Krissa! Yo. We should do something to celebrate our win. How about going out for lunch? <gasps> that sounds good. Any suggestions for where? Buffet. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh. Perfect. I have a coupon for Bombay Garden. Oh, that sounds delicious. It's an Indian buffet in the mall. If we're really being frugal, I bet Min could pass off as under 12 for the kid's price. Hey now! Hey now! Why stop there? Infancy for free! Oh, dang, we have not heard from Noelle at all in the last episode. Damn! Hey! More realistically, Min could actually fit in our equipment bag. The giant three-foot-long one. <laughs> we can straight up smuggle her inside and not pay for her at all. Won't the waiters find it odd that a tiny Asian kid suddenly materialized at our table? No, they won't see her. <laughs> you know, as someone who is a, a shorter person myself, I'm 5'6 and 3 quarters, don't forget it. Um, you know, there's nothing worse than people assuming that you are less than or smaller than uh, your stature gives you credit for. I think Min has one of the largest personalities and uh, characters ever. Um, so even though she's small, you know, it doesn't mean she's small. No, they won't see her. She'll stay in the bag. When no one's looking, we can quickly slip the food inside. <laughs> what kind of demented fantasy even is this? I'm getting scared for your future children, you weirdo. That sounds like kind of, kind of fun, actually. I'll do it. What? I'll be, like, illegal. Alright, let's meet up there at noon tomorrow. Be there or be square. Tomorrow, I won't be able to go. <gasps> Why not? I just had fun three months ago. My parents will complain I'm wasting time. I can't go either. I'm so grounded for getting expelled from Niles. Expelled from Niles? What does that mean? Wait, expelled from Niles? Is this something you're supposed to remember? How are you coming to practice then? I told them I'm going to a tutoring group. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you need a tutoring group to help with your spelling, Min. Can't you say you're going to a special additional session? Because you're extra dumb and need the help. <laughs> F you. And that's not going to work. They won't be convinced that easily. Wait, listen. I have an idea. Oh? Min's mom accompanies her to the library. Noelle is seated inside with her mom. Min gestures at her, wrinkling her nose with disgust. This is my private tutor or whatever. Oh, they don't know? Oh, okay, they don't know her friends, I guess. Yes, I'm receiving extra credit for this. Min's mom eyes the clearly nerdy girl Min would never be friends with. Oh, that is interesting that the two of them, of all people, would be together in a library. <laughs> Noelle's mom eyes the clearly stupid girl Noelle would never be friends with. Show us your latest math test. Min takes a crumpled ball of paper out of her pocket. When she smooths it out, it's marked all over, red with failure. What happened? 
I got unlucky. There were so many where I narrowed it down to two choices and guessed wrong. Man, that is me on every math test I've ever taken. There's, <laughs> there's only four choices. Even if you chose every single answer at random, on average you'd have scored higher than this. Yeah, says who? What says probability? Noel teaches men the concept of probability. Sounds fake. It's not fake. Do you at least understand it now? I guess. Finally convinced that Noelle is legitimately tutoring men, their moms head home. <laughs> we fooled them. All we need to do now is walk to the buffet and remember to come back here later to get picked up. Aw, I like that they're at least sticking up for one another. It's so messed up that we even have to do this just for really basic things. We're not even doing anything bad. Boy, is that the truth. If I, <laughs> if I had a nickel for all the things I did in high school that were clearly not bad or wrong or immoral. I mean, heck, I, I didn't even dr I didn't drink alcohol, I didn't do drugs, I didn't have sex, I didn't do any of that stuff in high school, and yet I, I constantly had to do stuff like this just to have a social life. I carumba. It's, uh, yeah. I can't comprehend a situation where you don't have to hide most of your life from your parents. Right? A healthy relationship with your parents? What's that? It sucks that due to societal pressures, practically everyone has kids, whether they're well-suited from parenting or not. Oh, truth bomb! Man, it took me a long time to accept that my mom and dad are decent people who just happen to make horrible parents. I bet mine are worse. Yours are pretty bad. My dad taped the times table up to 12 by 12... Oh, okay. My dad taped the times table up to 12 by 12... Or up to 12 by 12 times 12 to the wall at eye level and made me stand facing it until I memorized the whole thing in one go dang oh I was only five what but I remember it clearly because I was there for hours and hours I still don't know the 11 and 12 ones oh yeah my dad once threw a porcelain toilet seat at me from upstairs <laughs> why a toilet seat my dad went to pee in the middle of an argument and suddenly remembered how mad he was at me dang so he stormed out of the bathroom with the thing in hand and hurled it at me on sight. Wow, that explains a lot about you. Parents should be required to take a test before they can have kids, that's true. I wish that were viable. Maybe in an ideal world where all vehicle turn signals sync up and blink the same speed. Dang, that is some real OCD, Noel. I'd want the test to ask them to explain their motivation for being a parent. Do you want a kid just to elevate your own status? What if your kids don't turn out the way you expected? A bunch of white guys holler at them as they pass by the intersection. Konnichiwa! Min makes an obscene hand gesture at him. This is America! Speak English, motherfucker! <laughs> That's not the correct way to think of it. It's kind of funny. He had two chances to get it right and got it wrong for both of us. Like you and your math test. <laughs> Probability. Oh, shut up! Yay, buffet time! I'm actually really hungry as I'm playing this, so this is only going to make me more ravenous. We're here. Dia and Akarsha are already waiting by the fountain. Dia! <gasps> uh, that phrase. <gasps> oh, I love you. Oh, I see, I see. It wasn't a dirty phrase at all. Min taught her to say I love you. This just added five years of my lifespan. Aww. Dia has moved so that she's standing directly beneath the air conditioning vent. She closes her eyes contentedly as a cool draft blows over her face. You're sweating buckets. Were you exercising or something? Ran five miles to here from my house. But your house is only one mile away. I know, I just can't read maps. <laughs> you should cool off in the fountain. No. It doesn't matter that you're not wearing a swimsuit. If you take off your clothes, your bra and underwear will basically, basically be like a bikini. You think the swimsuit is the only issue here? It's called having fun, Frenchman. You should try it sometime. Really? Then why don't you jump into the fountain? Great question. Oh no, is she going to do it? What? It's filled with money people threw in there. It's like a swimming pool, but better. She's right. There's nothing stopping us from taking it. You can't be serious. Stop. Stop. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, they are getting in the fountain. Oh my gosh. How much money have you got so far? Min examines the fistful of dirty coins in her hand. Uh, a lot. Min holds it out for Akarsha to see. You've got like 188. 
If we find 392 more cents, we can buy Mario Party at GameStop. No, there's no way. Hey, what are you doing in there? Get out! Chris is power walking towards them. Shit. Akarsha and Min reluctantly climb out of the mall fountain. Why are you two like this? Have you never gone outside before? How dare you! Just last week, I went to Safeway with my mom! Krista points at Noelle, who's smugly watching them get scolded from a safe distance. And you! What? I didn't do anything! Exactly! You should have stopped them! Wait a minute, oh... If their clothes don't dry, um, uh, Min's gonna get in trouble with her parents, because... Why are your clothes all wet at the library? Are you the responsible one or not? Alright, I think they get it. Let's just go to the restaurant now. Get in the bag, Min! <laughs> Wait, they're actually gonna do that? I thought that was a joke. Liz places the empty equipment bag on the floor and unzips it. Min climbs in and lies on her side in the fetal position. There's actually some room to spare. You okay in there? It's kind of like being in a sleeping bag, except not padded and shitty. Wait, so is she wet in there too? I'm doing a crime. If I stay on her cover like this, I'll basically be stealing from the restaurant. That's right, homie. Fight the system. We need to zip this up now so no one sees you. Everyone wave goodbye to Min. Bye, Min. <laughs> this, is, this is ridiculous. I can see a thing now that it's zipped shut. Min feels a tug on the top of the bag. Ugh, I didn't think about carrying the bag in. It's like 100 pounds. Uh, Akarsha. Okay, Dia can lift it. She's the strongest. No, Dia won't work. She looked too guilty. You can see it on her face. See, Mom? She's already uncomfortable. Did you just call me Mom? Well, Krissa, if the shoe fits... What? I, I did not. You totally did. I absolutely did not. All right, I'll carry the bag. Whoa, she's lifting the bag off the ground. I'm suddenly really worried about being dropped. If you drop me, I'll kill you. They've halted inside the restaurant. How many? Nine. I, I mean eight! We don't have any large tables left. Is two separate ones fine? Sure. Come this way. The bag shifts with Chris's movements as she follows the waiter. <laughs> Yuki, in quotations, I love it. Every time it makes me kind of kind of chuckle. These tables are pretty tall. If Min were sitting at it, she'd need a booster seat. I'm not that short, you bitch! <gasps> Oh, cover blown. Shit. Min's life as a fugitive has ended. Ooh, I love the... I love this restaurant. I love these colors. At least now that you've blown your cover, you can eat normally with us. Yeah. Min crawls out of the bag and takes a seat with Akarsha, Noel, and Dia. We can get our drinks and food now. As Akarsha reaches for her empty glass, Noel grabs her arm. Wait, I I'll get your water along with mine. You go ahead and get your food. Thanks, Oga. I think I see what's happening here. Don't mention it. Do you have a fever or something? You're really docile all of a sudden. I don't have the energy to deal with both you and Mencio at the same time. I'll get you back for this later. I like how getting her water is something you have to get her back for. <laughs> Dia pauses, then turns to look at Min. The restaurant is noisy enough that she likely didn't catch what Min said, but she heard her tone of approval. You like Noelle now? Her face is shining with hope. Min is struck with the conviction that saying no would be a crime punishable by death. She's okay, I guess. Dia beams at her. The blinding exposure temporarily lowers Min's IQ by 50 points. Yeah, that was so worth it. <laughs> oh, I am starving. Look how... Oh, that looks so delicious. I don't know what anything is. Surely you at least recognize tandoori chicken. You're saying it wrong. Wait, really? Tandoori? Tandoori. The do isn't like the door. It's like doo-doo head. Are you five years old? You could have just said like do in due date. Tandoori. Tandoori. Mmm, love me some tandoori chicken. I ended up taking a bit of everything. Maybe this will make Dia think I'm cool for trying all of it. The tend tandoori chicken is too salty. Noelle dumps it on Dia's plate. Dia eagerly stuffs the extra food into her mouth. What is she, your garbage disposal? 
Min jitters her legs so the table is rattling like there's a small earthquake. Stop that! Akarsha joins in at the same frequency so it resonates. Knowledge is power! Akarsha sips her water. She's down to about half the glass now. Clearly waiting for this moment to arrive, Noelle smugly flips open her cell phone and shows it to her. Akarsha, look at this photo. It's a picture of the restaurant's bathroom stall. Oh, it's a picture of the restaurant's bathroom stall. In the center of the frame, Noelle is holding a water glass to the toilet. Is that... You filled my cup with toilet water? Oh, that's why Noelle wanted to get Akarsha's water. <laughs> Dang, though, that's... Whew, that's a step too far, Noelle. What do you think? Seriously? Akarsha stands. Noelle has a perversely happy look on her face like a child burning ants with a magnifying glass. Seriously now, are you serious? Come on, man, serious now. You really are serious? Come on, man. Now, we're even. Ew, ew. I, I'm literally, I'm looking at a glass filled with water right now. I'm Because I, I was like, oh, I need to take a drink of water. But I'm like looking at it, looking at like little floaty things. And I'm like, did this come from the toilet? This did not come from the toilet. Hold on, I'm going to take a sip. Ah, that tastes much better than toilet water, but... Ugh, the aftertaste, just thinking about it. You, you, I can't believe you, you meanie! My stomach hurts now! Yeah, even an, an, an Indian buffet? You're being overdramatic, the bacteria wouldn't affect it that fast. I'm gonna wash my mouth out! <laughs> Akarsha disappears into the bathroom. Jesus Christ! Da da da. Worried, Dia goes after Akarsha, leaving Min alone with Noelle at the table. Noelle is in a particularly good mood now. Let's, uh, check on Dia and Akarsha. Min gets up and hovers awkwardly outside the women's restroom. Peering through the open front door, or the open door from the hallway, she can see Akarsha and Dia at the sink. Akarsha cups her hand under the, under the running faucet, gargles the tap water, and spits it back out. Oh my god, people pooped in the toilet water and I drank it! Yeah... This would happen to me, classic. What did I ever do to deserve this? You tied Noelle's braid to a tree? Besides that, that's so minor. And accidentally dropped a worm we were dissecting down her shirt? Besides that, that was weeks ago. Yesterday you picked her up, replied okay when she demanded you put her down and threw her in the school swimming pool. And when she screeched, now I'm all wet, you yelled, that's what she said. Besides that, none of these count. Such a cruel world we live in. Right. Dia clearly has no idea what to say. Even though she's mostly just standing there listening, though, Akarsha seems to appreciate her presence. It looks like they're doing okay. Min returns to the table. They're taking a long time in there. She's not crying, is she? No, she's just being a drama queen like usual. What, are you worried? What? No. I, I was just, just curious. Whatever you say, Satan. All right, we'll talk to Noelle. Was it really toilet water? Oh, thank goodness it wasn't actually toilet water. Whew, I was thinking to myself, dang, that's too far. What? Of course not. That would have been unsanitary. What kind of person do you think I am? What the fuck? That somehow makes you even worse. You lied to her. I never lied. I purposefully led her to the wrong conclusion, that's all. Um, it pisses me off to admit it, but... You're less boring than I originally thought. I used to think you were the bland, goody two-shoes type, but you're actually this sadistic, manipulative weirdo. I can respect that. Thanks? Sorry I've been a jerk to you. If I'd given you a chance, we might have gotten along. What? J just kidding, I, I hate you. Noelle nods with relief. Good. I hate you too. <laughs> None of this Disney shit. Right. The workers are refilling the iced tea keg now. That looks good. Min fetches a glass of iced tea and returns it to the table. What is that? Iced tea. What? Where was it? Min points at the glass keg in the corner of the buffet. Don't tell me that wasn't iced tea. Why is it all by itself away from the other beverages? Uh, maybe they didn't have room by the soda machine? Now that she looks, though, there is room by the soda machine. Uh, shit, you're right. What the hell is this, then? How should I know? Min sniffs it. I can't tell what it is. You try. Noelle brings the bowl to her face and inhales. I don't know. It, it doesn't smell like, like a tea. 
Min pours half of it into another glass and slides it over to Noelle. I don't want this! It's a symbol of our not being enemies anymore. I don't even know what it is. Then try it. You try it. What, are you scared it'll taste bad? What if it's a condiment or a sauce? That's what I was thinking. Is it a sauce or like a soup? It'd be like eating mustard. We should just wait for Dia and Akarsha to come back and ask them. I don't want to be sitting here with matching cups with you. It'll look stupid. You should have thought about that before taking a glass of mystery liquid. I thought I knew what it was. Noelle glares down at her glass of orangey yellow liquid. After a long moment, takes a sip of it. Oh no, what is it going to be? Well, what is it? It's spicy, not sweet. It's weird for a beverage. I don't like it. What are you, racist? I'm not racist. You're like one of those wimps who's afraid of durian. Closed-minded. <laughs> I would love to try durian, actually. I'm not. Look, I'll finish it. It's probably an acquired taste, like durian. Min begins drinking her glass of the liquid, too. It does taste weird for a drink. I don't like it, but I'm better than her. I'll never admit it. Grimacing, they continue drinking the mystery liquid in silence. Oh gosh, what is it going to be? Hey, you're like a Dia expert, right? More or less. Can I ask for your opinion on something then? Yes. Where would be the best possible place to take Dia on a date? A dog park. I already... I mean, besides a dog park. Then the Harry Potter theme park at Universal Studios. Oh, I'd love to go there. But I don't have the money to... I mean, the budget in this situation is small. In this hypothetical situation. Right. In this hypothetical situation, I'm testing your Dia knowledge. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. She also likes Eaton. Why don't you take her to a dessert place instead? There's one she wants to try called Snow Castle. They have shaved ice and boba. It's within walking distance from school. Students often visit it during the lunch hour. Perfect, thanks. I mean, you pass. Because I, I was testing you. Dot dot dot. Just as a reminder, I hate you. I'm only helping you to make sure Dia doesn't have a terrible time. Yeah, of course, I hate you too. Akarsha and Dia have returned from the bathroom. Akarsha's eyes widen as she sees Min gulp another mouthful of the mystery liquid. Oh no, what is it? Are you guys drinking Panty? I don't know what that is. Dia, look, look, they're drinking Panty. <laughs> what? What's Panty? You're supposed to use it to fill... You, you're supposed to use it to fill up... Fill... Hurry, the fried dough ball things. You don't drink it all by itself. Noelle glares at Min. I told you it wasn't a beverage. I was right. Don't pin it on me. You drink it all on your own. Do you guys squirt ketchup directly into your mouths too? Shut up. Ketchup, man. Both Dia and Akarsha are gleefully taking out their phones. <laughs> don't take photos. Look what I got. It's a photo of a blurred, scowling Noelle trying to shove the shameful... Something that I missed. <laughs> Exclamation mark. Send it to me. You're never going to let us live this down, are you? You guessed it. You guessed it, Ketchup Man too. Whatever, P-Girl. <laughs> Noelle storms off to the buffet area to escape Akarsha's photos. Akarsha gets up and chases after her. Noelle's making things even worse. There's going to be action shots of her running around the salad bar now. And of her tripping. Huh? But she hasn't tripped. <laughs> As if I'm cue, Noelle stumbles over nothing and trips. Hey, this isn't a jungle gym. Okay, Mom. Da, da, da. Wow, you're good. We're alone at the table now. Here's my chance to ask her out. Oh, I'm nervous. We should go out and eat sometime. We're already eating right now. I mean, some other time, but j just the two of us. The next day. Oh, do we get to go on their... Yes, we get to go on their date to Snow Castle! I was hoping for this. Oh, this is a cute place. I was trying to see if I recognize it from the real world. Nope, it does look like a place that would have boba tea, though. We're here, on a date. It's lunchtime at school right now. We ate really fast and sprinted here. How much time do we have? About 30 minutes before we gotta run back to campus. Thanks for bringing me here. I've always wanted to try their shaved ice. I'm the one who should be thankful. Don't mention it. Min receives a chat message. She quickly checks her phone. 
I have prepared a Dia cheat sheet for your reference. Top desserts, drinks, Dia lacks. Any food artificially colored to look blue. The flavor is irrelevant, e.g. blue raspberry, Baja Blast, etc. Dia cannot tell the difference and will refer to it as blue flavor. Wait now, Baja Blast? Did Taco Bell have that in 2008? I'm being too critical about the time period, aren't I? Peanut butter. She is neutral towards actual peanuts. Mango. Food with a circle in the center, e.g. bagels, bunt cakes, peach gummy rings. So, to be fair, I love any food that's artificially colored to look blue, too. Really, honestly, the flavor is totally irrelevant. I love peanut butter. I'll eat peanuts, but I'm more of a cashew fan. I love mango. Absolutely love it. And I like bagels a lot, especially everything bagels. With I don't like cream cheese, though. Bunt cakes, uh, I could take a leave cake. I'm not a big dessert fan, really. And peach gummy rings, ugh. Any gummy candy is my favorite. If you are in a situation where multiple food items have these features, e.g. both blue colored cake and a mango mousse cake are available, the hierarchy is as follows. Quote unquote blue flavor is greater than peanut butter, which is greater than mango, which is greater than circle in the center. Suggested conversation topics, Owl City, Dogs who have different colored fur above their eyes so it looks like they have eyebrows. And the most extreme, it's an Animal Planet series. Okay, I'll text you if I run into trouble. Understood. Oh, I love that they... I love, I love the friendship that they share. Man, this would have made high school a whole different experience for me, friends. Min and Dia take their place in line and gaze up at the menu. These shaped ice desserts look massive. Maybe we can share one. Dia nods eagerly. It's on purpose. They're made for couples to eat together. We're sharing one! <laughs> it's Dia and Min's turn in line now. Welcome to Snow Castle. Can I take your order? Dia looks anxiously at Min. Min's heart skips a beat seeing the helplessness in her eyes. She's relying on me! I've got you! We'll have the Mount Fuji. That one is blue. One Mount Fuji coming right up. Dia and Min find a table and wait for their order. I'll pay you back. No, it's on me. Don't worry about it. I still have the money from the mall fountain. Thanks. You're welcome. I'd kill someone if you asked me to. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Subtlety is not your forte. I'm pretty sure you'd kill someone even if I didn't ask you to. <laughs> the orders are being prepared on the counter. An employee is drizzling syrup atop another customer's mountain of shaved ice. Hey, we can watch them making it don't want to see. Food tastes better if you don't know what's in it. Really? That way it's like magic. Huh, never thought of it like that. Do you know how to cook? I can make microwave popcorn! So can I, but I usually burn it. That's not cooking. What, can you cook? Not really. Once I tried to make a pancake when I was nine, but it burned to a total crisp like a rock. Couldn't even scrape it out of the pan. I was so embarrassed that I dug a big hole in the backyard and buried it. Including the pan? I was desperate. I didn't know what else to do. That's so cute. Like a little puppy. Are you making fun of me? No, it's a good thing. You're so cute sometimes that I almost can't stand it. Dot, dot, dot. I, I have to go to the bathroom. Dia staggers to her feet and makes for the restroom. She misses the door and slams straight into the wall. Dia! Min rushes to her side as she staggers back and grabs a hold of her, worried she might fall. What's wrong? Are you hurt? Dia just shakes her head, face red. She seems to be struggling with the limits of spoken language. You sure? Dia nods frantically. Oh, they're so cute! Min tentatively lets her go. She watches Dia scramble into the restroom, correctly this time. As Min returns to her table, her phone screen lights up with a message. <laughs> I'm so effing done. The way you grabbed her, I thought you were going to start dry humping her in the middle of the restaurant. Akarsha, I'm convinced those sunglasses are actually impeding your mental processes. I am embarrassed to be seen with you. Well, I can't take them off. My car will be blown. Oh my gosh, I see. So she's actually there in the restaurant. Oh, they're both there in the restaurant. You should have chosen a better disguise in the first place then. What? Turn around. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it! I love it. WTF? Dia's been texting me for advice on you. That's why she went to the bathroom. 
What? Aww. Aww. That's too freaking cute. Honestly, I'm annoyed she, go she goes to you and not me. Why would she go to you? You never talk about feelings and gay stuff. And I also have master seduction skills. What master seduction skills? My tactics. Oh, I was reading that. Sorry, I was reading that in um, Min's voice, but that was obviously uh, Akarsha. My tactics. If you're so knowledgeable on these matters, why are you single? Excuse you, I'm single because I want to be. Some people like being sad and alone. On purpose. On purpose. Right, on purpose. Not because no one ever likes me back or anything. Don't attack me like this, WTF. Wait guys, hold on. How long has this been going on? Was this whole thing at the buffet a, a setup? Wait, when you two left the table? Oh, take a wild guess, Sherlock. Oh, I see now, I see. You know, you know Noel, I'm starting to realize you do have a, wait, what happened there? Sometimes this like game glitches and goes back. Oh, it goes back because my mouse can, no, that's not why. Anyway, you know Noel, I'm starting to realize you do have a sense of humor. But you're so emotionally constipated that your style of humor is just being extremely mean. Oh my god. Wait. Do you and Noelle get along now? We don't get along. But we used to not get along much worse. <laughs> That's true. Dia returns to the table. See what I mean? It just like goes backwards like that sometimes. Dia returns to the table. Are you feeling better? Dia nods sheepishly and then stiffens up in fear as a waitress approaches with their dessert on a tray. One Mount Fuji? Dia responds with frenzied nodding as the waitress slides the dessert onto the table. Aw, that's super cute. I love this. I would eat that. Absolutely, I'd eat that. It's a mound of shaved ice sculpted and saturated with blue raspberry syrup and condensed milk to look like a mountain. <gasps> the blue flavor looks good. Noel was spot on. What are the pink things? It's mochi. They're supposed to look like cherry blossoms. Min stabs her spoon into the shaved ice and shovels it into her mouth. The shaved ice is so cold that her gums are growing numb. I think I'm getting... Oh, I think I'm getting a brain freeze. Me too. A drop of cream is trickling down Dia's finger. She quickly licks it clean before it can reach her palm. Min is so focused watching, she doesn't realize her own mouth is hanging open until she feels a trail of spit about to drop down from it. Min accidentally drooled onto the table. F.S. Da da da, da da da. Dia is staring determinedly into the Mount Fuji. She's probably pretending not to have seen. Help me. Pretend to drown so she has to give you mouth to mouth. WTF kind of plan is that? What would I even be drowning on? The shaved ice. <laughs> no. The the toilet? No. Trust me, I'm a love expert. There's no way this could possibly go wrong. Rather than potentially causing confusion like that, why don't you be open and tell her how you feel? You're the last person on the planet qualified to tell me to be open. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm perfectly open about my feelings. Since when? Hey Frenchman, you enjoy our company, right? I'm not sure how you deluded yourself into believing that. See? <laughs> Elameo, proved us right. You can't even argue it. Da da da. She's trapped. She hates being wrong, but can't admit she likes us. I like you. <gasps> However, you're immature and relentlessly annoying. Everything about you fills me with indescribable rage. From the way you wear a windbreaker with flip-flops to your idiotic looking hairstyle to how, to how you're smart yet do things like call forks, food rakes, etc. And Min, you're volatile and stupid. I already hardly tolerate you, so if you hurt Dia in any way, I won't hesitate to destroy you. Why do you have to immediately drag us to defuse the situation? Baby steps, Frenchman. Very good. Shut up. Now that I'm right, as always, about being open, Min has no valid excuse. What if Dia rejects me? Then that's her own personal problem for having bad taste. Her loss, not yours. What should I say? Let me think. <laughs> Shit, bitch, you is fine. With no! Hey, girl. Rat piss. What? Urban Dictionary, Rat Piss, a code name for send nudes, hey girl, <laughs> Rat Piss, nah, it's only the Rat Piss, pours out the last half inch of beer, oh, that's a different search result there, who the F would say that, do it, hey girl, Rat Piss, no, 
If you don't make a move within the next five minutes, I'ma belt the Crazy Frog song and ruin your whole date. I practiced. Unfortunately, I can confirm. She's practiced. <laughs> okay, I can do this. My mouth is so cold. Want me to warm it up for you? Dia freezes. Oh my god, I have up, I have up! Dia gives her a nervous, very small nod. What? Kiss her? That's my only option. Wait, see, and I went back. I don't know. I don't know why that's happening. Okay, we're gonna do it. I carumba. <gasps> wow! Min crawls onto the table on all fours with a loud clatter. Dia gasps as Min cups her face in her palms and catches her lips with hers. Her mouth is cold, as advertised, and blue flavor. Dia doesn't push her away, but she doesn't kiss back either. Min can feel her trembling in her arms like a frightened rabbit. Anxious, Min pulls back over the sounds of Akarsha's whooping and yodeling in the background. Dia is clinging desperately to Min's jacket sleeves, a vivid blush coloring her cheeks. Moving a little fast there, Min. Is this good? Dia frantically nods in response, looking embarrassed. Oh, she likes it. I don't know what to do. I've never done this before. Me neither, but don't worry. I looked it up on Yahoo Answers. Unless you want to start smaller? I... I want to hold hands with you and cuddle. We could do that. Min takes Dia's hand. I'm happy you kissed me. I like you a lot. Me too. Min lightly brushes Dia's lips with her thumb. Dia shivers at the touch as Min gently pulls her closer. Do you like this? Dia nods and closes her eyes and leans in. She nuzzles against Min, peppering her cheek with soft little kisses. Oh my god, Dia's kissing me! The, the table, it's... Noelle stands up and is approaching them. What the fuck? Go away, Noelle! You think I want to be here watching this disgusting display? The table is... The leg of the table gives way under Min's weight! <laughs> I, I should have seen that one coming. <laughs> I can't believe we're banned from Snow Castle now. I can't believe men broke their table. No choice. You could have held off on making out for 10 seconds and walked around it. Like I said, no choice. That was even better than you guys drinking panty at the buffet. Shut up. Yeah, shut your fuck up. <laughs> shut your fuck up. I hate you all. I I'm going home. Okay, see you at practice tomorrow. No, wait, stay! Change my mind then. You have approximately 10 seconds. Friendship is like peeing on yourself. What? Everyone can see it, but only you get the warm feeling it brings. <laughs> what the fuck? Da -da -da. Goodbye. No! What were you expecting after that, you nasty freak ho? P-Girl again? Oh no, you do not want to get that nickname. Meanie? You... You dung elf? What? <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at them. Oh, I just want to stop here in this moment and take a look at these four people who I love, who love, he who love each other quite clearly. And no matter what happens in the future, or if they actually end up with each other or not, dang. This friendship that they all share is one of the most beautiful things I've seen in a video game in a long time. You know how during Metamorphosis, inside the chrysalis, the caterpillar turns to soup? It melts into this disgusting, muddled, goo slushy. Everyone's a mess when they're growing up. Some people are just better at hiding it than others. It's okay to be a flaming dumpster fire. It's okay if you're not what your parents wanted you to be. It's okay to change your mind. If you want to be a butterfly, you have to be butterfly soup first. If you think about it like that, we're all doing pretty good right now. We just don't know it yet. Just keep going. Keep trying and eventually you'll find people who like... Uh, you'll find people who like you for the weird fuck up that you are. You deserve to be happy. So... Don't give up. I won't give up if you don't give up. And if an alligator attacks you, go for the eyes. What? That's what I told Min last time she said that line. The not giving up. I, 
I have trivia like that too. If you're walking on the sidewalk and see a car coming towards you, instead of moving forward or backwards, go directly left or right towards the nearest obstacle you see. If only Charlize Theron had heard this advice before she filmed Prometheus. Why left or right? I don't get it. There's normally too little time to judge the car's direction. Moving directly perpendicular to how you're facing is your best bet. I was looking up how to survive if a car drives into you as a pedestrian. I already told you. I'll just hit the car out of the way. This has turned into a random advice session. End this conversation, otherwise we'll be standing here forever. Okay, I'm ending it now. Bye. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> Whew, that was excellent. Oh my gosh. That was just absolutely excellent. I'm like, this was way better than I expected. Um, way more real than I expected. Way more impactful. Way more emotionally resonant. And... And listen, for someone who wants everyone to relentlessly... I really miss high school. Anyone who wants to relentlessly pursue their, their, their drams, right? That's what I'm all about. That's why, that's why I say that at the end of every episode. And this, this is the perfect uh, game to drive that home. And oh, are we getting a little glimpse into how this game uh, fits in with uh, Palm Gets Wi-Fi? So which one do you want? Don't know. Which dog friend do you want, Sheba? Oh, yep, that's Sheba from Palm Gets Wi-Fi. <laughs> Hearing his name, Sheba turns brightly to Dia, tongue lolling out. His frog raincoat makes a crinkling sound against men's arms as he wags his tail. He's too nice. He likes all of them. Dia peers down at a Pomeranian in the enclosure. <gasps> this one reminds me of you. How? Small, but thinks she's invincible. Hey. It's a charm point. I love you for it. <laughs> That's totally Palm. That's Palm. Dia picks the little Pomeranian up and gazes into her black, soulless eyes. Your name is Palm. <laughs> I love that little tie-in there. Wow! Wow! Wow. Mm. Yeah, uh... My friend Kit, who recommended that I play this game, told me that he recommended that I take more time with it because once it's over, I'm going to really miss these characters and their friendship, and Kit, you were 100% right. I'm like, I'm sitting here being like, dang, I don't want it to be over! <laughs> I mean, look, I was thinking that this would be like a, a two or three episode special for Pride Month or something, which actually, let's see, how long did it take me to play this game? Um, June, June, July, August, September, only four months. <laughs> anyway, wow, wow, wow. I hope that you guys uh, uh, liked this game as much as I did. Um, anyway, yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Whew. I need a breather after this. Um, anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I have been and I will continue to be Kip Icon as long as you friends continue to follow your drams. Bye!